are some options. I've got that as an option. I flip them this way. And I could have this as an option. So, man, I don't know what to say. Uh, you don't need to say anything. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So. Wow, that is beautiful. If you'd like to follow the process of turning a block of wood like this into a guitar like this, then you've come to the right place. And if you would like to see me give this guitar away, click subscribe, hit the bell. I think I like that more than I thought I was going to. Got this blue-green mix, let it dry. Then I'm gonna lightly sand a lot of that off. Well, I guess there's an interjection. That was last night. Took it upstairs to show my wife. She likes the colors a lot. And I was just about to say, I'm gonna paint the sides and the back black. And I said, I'm gonna paint the sides. And she said, pearl white. And I thought, yep, you're right. Today's video might be a little interesting because I think I'm going to have a lot of little things that I've got to do today. Maybe you're just going to get a slice of what I do in, in between building all the guitars with uh, the different projects that we've got going here. I've been trying to do videos where they're focused on just one topic, like last time was just on staining and nothing else. Uh, today we're going to do some more staining too. Corwin is going to come over and he is going to stain his guitar. I think he's gonna go with that kind of uh, white over top of the black stain for his guitar, the one that's kind of like this. We did this last time. Um, so he's gonna work on that. And I am going to also work on getting this prepped. As I said last time, kind of a surprise, but uh, my wife talked me into, she didn't try very hard. She just mentioned, I was like, yeah, that's what I should do. Uh, to do pearl white, on the uh, back and sides. So I'm going to prep this. This is, the back is a mahogany. So we're gonna prep that because of the, the deep pores in there. And I, I, I don't want the pores on this one to show. Sometimes I like the pores on mahogany to show. It kind of makes for a nice effect. But with this one, I want it to be really, uh, really smooth and don't want those pores to show. So I'm gonna show you how I take care of that. And we're gonna, get to work on these pieces of wood, which are just gorgeous. They're so awesome. Those are gonna go on a very special X Horizon guitar. Stick around and we'll see what all we get to today. When it comes to experimenting with guitars, I always experiment on one that I intend to keep myself. And that way, if something doesn't go quite right, it's not gonna to go to a customer. So I'm gonna try some Duplicolor paint on this guitar. I'm gonna use a pearl on it. I will first prime it, and then I will paint it with the pearl on the back and on the sides. Before I do that, I'm going to use my Color Tone water-based grain filler on the back. Sometimes I like to have the mahogany have the little pock marks in it, so to speak, that looks so that you see that wood grain in there like that. Sometimes I like that, especially with a uh, with a satin finish on it. But if I'm gonna do a glossy for sure, which I plan to do, and doing this pearl on there, I want that to just be as level as I possibly can get it so that it's like a mirror. And so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna work on Corwin's guitar and put some black stain on that. Let it dry a little, sand it off and then put white over top, see what we get that. And he's talking about doing black on the sides and the back, which I thought I was gonna do. Uh, but yeah, wife talked me into the pearl white, which I think I'm gonna really like. Also that guitar for Mr. Smith, I sent that off yesterday to be painted. So that's gonna be a pearl white. That goes to an auto body guy. One interesting thing, my auto body guy that I've been using for the last 12 years actually, just moved to Florida. So he's a little too far away for me to use. He was three hours away for, for me and that was far enough. The guy that I'm using now is about six hours away. He's out in the Black Hills of South Dakota. 
He's in a band, he knows guitars, he plays guitar, and he knows auto body because he's done it for a long time. So it'll be interesting to see that one come back for the first time. Uh, you know, you get a little nervous when you use a new guy, but uh, Uriah, I'm counting on you. I think you're going to do great from everything I've heard. So we're looking forward to that guitar coming back in a few weeks, and then I'll be able to finish that one off for Kyle Smith. Kyle, it's getting closer. Going to be coming to you, hopefully, you know, maybe within the next month, month and a half. Probably month and a half, because it might take a while to get it painted. I guess we'll see. We'll find out. Well, I just got a message from Sam, and it may or may not happen that they come today. They had an emergency come up. So I'm going to go ahead and get this color tone water-based grain filler on here. It's just kind of like a gluey paste, really, is what it's like, but it fills that in. If you're going to stain, you want to stain ahead of time. We're not going to be staining this, though. This is going to be painted over, so I'm just going to go right over top. And, of course, I've got that front stained, so that's not an issue, but I'm not going to be doing it on the top. Uh, the maple is really... I really don't need to use it on the maple because the maple is such tight pores, you don't have to worry about it. Hey guys, it is the middle of March in Minnesota. We finally got a few warm enough days to come outside and do some things. So I'm gonna start working on another guitar body for an X Horizon. Now this one in particular is going to be uh, curly maple and curly maple in the center. And then on the outside, I am gonna put a drop top of some really special wood that I'll show you a little bit later. I may have gotten it in the mail. We're gonna open up a package today. I'm not sure what's in the package for sure, but if it's what I'm hoping it is, then you'll be able to see the drop top that we'll put on this. So because I'm gonna put a drop top on it, I don't have to worry about book matching my piece of wood here. So this piece of wood uh, should be enough to make this entire body because the curly maple will be on the outside edges and you'll still see that. And I'm not so worried about the book match look because I'll put a drop top on it. In order to do an X horizon, I got to be, tw I need two sides. Uh, one side is going to be 24 inches long, and then the next side needs to be 16 inches long. And so if I do two of these at two cuts at 24 inches and two cuts at 16 inches, I'll pretty much take up all of my piece of wood here, and then I will figure out how to put this together the best to make it the prettiest on those edges. Um, this is 10 and 3 quarters inches wide. I actually only need about 12 and a half inches to make the X Horizon guitar body. And the fact is, even maple is running short for us right now with getting guitar uh, wood, or the better wood. Unless I go to Menards or somewhere and pick up that kind of maple, which I guess uh, I'd rather get some really nice curly edges on this guitar. Well, I'm not 100% sure that this is what I think it is, but I think this is my drop top for this guitar. So I'm just going to cut this apart. And these are beautiful. Guys, can you imagine this being the drop top on there? Now this is book matched. So this is book matched. So this would be coming in somehow in here that I get to make the choice. Let's see how it's going to be. But we're going to have some of this kind of figuring. That's going to be amazingly B -E -A beautiful. Wow. There's some really cool figuring in this. It's going to be awesome. This wasn't cheap wood, though. Now with these, I am going to cut these down on both of these edges. I could use either side, but I want to see what it might look like if I were to 
do it this way instead of this way. Just see what the pattern's like. And that'll still leave me with enough wood either way. So here's the choice that it came as. But now I could do this as well. So there's a few more options for me. For myself, once I cut these two in half, then I'm gonna run them through the joiner so that I can get these edges nice and clean so that when I butt them up against each other, uh, there'll be a nice, nice joint in there. them apart before I run them through the joiner just so they're a little bit more manageable for me to handle. They're still fairly long. I've consistently had problems with my joiner getting it to work the way I need it to work. Uh, I end up with a little bit of an unevenness so I don't know if the joiner's not just set exactly right or if it's just me. It might just be me. Uh, so I'm going to return to my tried and true using two one inch square metal tubing bars that are straight and I just put a little bit of a spacer underneath both sides so that they're both exactly the same and then I can sand this just this little bit off there's not a lot there and I've been able to get some really really good joints that way and so that's what I'm going to do. I'd prefer my joiner to work better because it'd be quicker. This is still not too bad though it doesn't take long. Well, when I get to the point where I can use my steel straight edge ruler here and not see a single gap, and then I also run this down, and if it's straight all the way across, I know that I've got it squared off. In a little bit, I'll show you what it looks like when I put them together in case you're skeptical that there will be a nice tight fit on those, how they line up as you look down that. So, I mean, yeah, you can see a little bit of a line there, but once I get that glued, pulled in tight, clamped in, that's gonna be hard to see. I'll get this centered up and get them in place, get them glued together here, and then I can cut off a good chunk of wood on both sides here. The key with this one is going to be that it's just the edges. I just need the edges to be a nice curly maple because we're going to go for a certain look. The person that I'm building this guitar for has a couple of guitars that he wants me to kind of configure something similar to. So like this one is a drop top on a maple and then there's some other, I don't know if it's walnut on the back or a mahogany, but uh, you get these different layers. He wants to do something like that with one of my X Horizon guitars. Well, I've got these maple boards all glued up now. Those are gonna be the core of the X Horizon for chili sauce cane. And so these are gonna have that really nice burl wood over top. The edges are gonna be the curly maple on the edges, which are gonna be really nice. And then that center part, he wants to do with a little bit of a, like a tobacco sunburst. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. I think it's gonna just be astounding. No offense to anybody else that might get a guitar from me, but this may end up being the most beautiful guitar I make. Well guys, let me tell you about this really nice wood. This is a Burl Zero Cote wood. It's a drop top and it is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. And I have got it now cut so that it can be on top of one of the X Horizons. Here's some options. I've got that as an option. I flip them this way and I could have this as an option. 
You see the way the different uh, grains come together that way. Here I've got these two knots down in here. I've got, yeah, I can't, I don't know if you saw that. These two knots are down in here. It's a little bit, uh, I'm not sure that I like this, the way it comes up like that so much. I think there's something really sleek and attractive about this and the way those lines come together. So I'm thinking that I'm probably going to go with that on this one. And then I've got this other one. And as you can see, that I, I'm missing part of the edge here, but I'm okay with that. And the reason why is this. The way this is going to come together, now this is just a, a kind of a blank that I've been working on and never used. You see how this angle is here? Well, what this would be doing is it would sit up on top of this. And as you can see already, where I'm at on this top is this would be curved off anyway. And so I'm actually going to be cutting back into here a little bit as it goes down with that. But that's going to just sit on top. Now because of this angle here, this darker wood is going to come down a ways and then it will come to a point and then it'll be a lighter maple there. Uh, not with this piece of wood. The other wood that I'm using is a curly maple. It's going to be different. This is just a scrap piece. What do I like? Do I like that? Do I prefer something like this? Well, that's kind of crazy too, isn't it? Quite a variety of options. Now this would definitely give a lot of lot to look at there, wouldn't it? So there's that as an option. And you've got a lot of burl there, burl here couple pieces of burl down in there and I do like the way this comes like this or we got this as an option a lot of burl that way or this way how do I decide well guys I guess today's just been a lot of little snippets here and there of trying to figure some things out and get wood ready for builds. I hope you still enjoy hanging around with me even if it's not on a specific topic like today was. But uh, tune in uh, next time or the time after that and we're going to figure out uh, by then how this is going to be laid out. I'm going to take you guys along with me and we're going to go see one of the best guitar players in the world. Classical isn't usually the first piece of music that I go to but this girl is a phenomenal guitar player. I've never seen anybody be able to play like her. Andrea Segovia, uh, obviously he is just an incredible classical guitarist. I think I enjoy listening to her even more than Andrea Segovia. So guys, thanks for watching again today. I know that this has just been a lot of little bits and pieces of work that I'm doing on guitars. Thanks for joining me though and watching anyway. Uh, I will do more videos where I just zero in on a specific topic. This is what you get today, so I hope you enjoyed it. Just hanging out with me as I work on guitars. Keep fighting for joy, guys. We'll see you next time.